Warning, this podcast contains spoilers. Hello everyone and welcome to the As Seen on TV podcast for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4, Episode 6, The Good Samaritan. I'm your host, Cleo, and with me I have Jacob. Hey, it's just just us. Just, just us today. Tiny crew you know today. That makes it better. Exactly. Exactly. Still, still, still one big podcast family. Hey. Uh, this episode was great. I feel like maybe the best one yet in this season. We got, we got Ghost Rider. We got Star Wars. Uh, um, yes. All the great stuff. We got Coulson being Coulson. Of course. And we we have uh, nods at Peggy Carter. Yes. We got all I'm of it. For. Got all of it today. Um, so it's it started out with flashbacks, and I like how it said back in the day, like a nondescript year. Just, you know, back in the day. <laughs> Doing the once upon a time thing. Yeah. Uh, and we saw uh, Eli... When he still had, you know, when it was still his charger, uh, yeah. and they, you know, the 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 scientist peeps made carbon out of nothing, and he was just like sorcery. <laughs> it, it, explain this. <sighs> it, yeah, you don't. You know, it's a common uh, science logic. You can't make matter out of thin air. Mm-hmm. Matter cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be changed. And yeah, they they did it. Um, it's not science, it's magic. And of course, you know, as it always goes, you try to come you try to explain magic with science, it doesn't it doesn't work. It doesn't make any sense. Um, but yeah, the, and we see Eli trying to explain it with all like all of his science, but Kind no, of can't. You, you can't. You, you can't. You can't. That's the thing. You can't. Yeah. And you should stop trying. Mm-hmm. And but you don't. Yeah, we're also at a point where I don't think anyone's thinking to call it magic yet. Like, not even no. Eli is thinking this is magic. He's just thinking it this is. is some weird science. Yeah. Well, it is relatively uh, new. Um, we don't have. At least I don't think at this point in the context of the show, we don't have Doctor Strange yet. So, um, yeah, so far it's just been science, 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 except, you know, even if it's like weird science, it's like it's still science. Weird science. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, did, I didn't mean that, but. Okay. I know, I'm sorry. Sometimes I can't help it. Uh, yeah, but what what was the lead scientist's name? J- John? Joe? Jacob? Jacob Heimers? I don't know. Yeah. Something I feel like it's Joe. Like something with a J. Um just regular Joe. Yeah. A regular old Joe, but he's being super protective of the book and even his wife didn't have access to it. Like he was being So and and I mean it ended up being that he was the one who ordered the hit on the on Robbie and and uh Gabe. What? And they they never said it, but I feel like it was it was he just ordered the hit on the car, you know, like a dude driving this car, expecting it to be Eli, and it ended up just being his kids, you know, his his nephews. Kind of sucks. Yeah, it really sucks. You no, know, shitty situation that they don't deserve. Mm-hmm. But because of that, we do go into Robbie's backstory and how he became the Ghost Rider. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, there was, so there was a Molotov cocktail that they threw out the car. Ooh, yeah, that, that I didn't expect. That one came out of nowhere. Yeah, and I thought, what is this shit? Yeah. But it, it, it was cool. But they threw it out the car. And then there was a drive-by, you know, double whammy. Mm-hmm. And, and that's how Gabe got paralyzed. So that's why he's in the wheelchair. Mm-hmm. And Robbie's dead. Yeah, Robbie d- died. He, he hit he the ground dead. Yeah. 
but he prayed saying he says i don't you know he probably didn't know what what he was praying to because he just you know started thinking to himself okay like i don't care what happens just save my brother yeah and anything that'll listen yeah and something did listen yep probably not the one you wanted to listen but you know wait what he thinks is the devil or what he calls it the devil yeah. which i mean essentially it is but um it turns out i don't know if they're going to use the name but it looked like it was um i don't think it was the spirit of vengeance or maybe it was but it looked like it was johnny blaze yeah because that's what i was wondering because you see you see a person like someone drags gabe out of the car and then goes over to robbie uh and you know gabe doesn't see him flame on you know with the the full skull and everything but robbie does and so is this the previous ghostwriter passing his powers on or is it just like a representation like i don't know if host to host i don't know if the spirit of vengeance you know just generally looks like that or if it is a previous ghostwriter i like to think it's a previous ghostwriter yeah that would be cool i mean but then again if it is and how we'd ever heard of it but you know it's yeah. Marvel, you know, a lot of things get covered up. Yeah. Uh, and there was something that I could notice, because they showed the shots into the window of the car a few times, and we see Robbie get shot up a bunch, but we also see Gabe take at least two to the chest, and I don't know if they ever said that he suffered gunshot wounds. I don't remember that. If they ever said he probably that. It probably did, but it was in those it was in those areas that are safe that so you don't need them. But uh, fiction fictionally safe. Yeah. And like Mike likes to point out every time he's like, if you get got shot in the shoulder, it's it's not like you're gonna walk it off, you know. But you're fine. Yeah, but fictionally you're fine. Um, I mean, it's happened in this show. Yeah, exactly. But I I I was just thinking about that because maybe. Um, when he prayed for the Ghost Rider to, to save Gabe, that the, the Ghost Rider took away the bullet wounds, but left him paralyzed, maybe on purpose. I don't know. Mm. It was just a thought. Some kindness, I guess. But yeah, maybe. Still a bad situation to be in, like he can't walk anymore. Yeah. But, and like, but you'll live. I, yeah, and he, he has been living a, a, a pretty full life. And I love Gabe like his strength of character is just fantastic and he's got just a such a quick wit it's not just that he's smart he's really witty I like um I like I like them too because it feels like they they do love each other and that there is a strong brotherly bond there I mean we saw Robbie you know would literally die for Gabe and he did mm -hmm. yeah so I like them I, I do like them separately. I didn't like Robbie at first, at the beginning of the season. Mm -hmm. He's grown on me a bit, and I do love Gabe. Um, and I like, and I, them together, I especially love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, I, I'm, I'm nervous now, though, because it does seem like their brotherly relationship is going to get strained after him seeing how the Ghost Rider just went ham on the director. Yeah, and Robbie it, tried to explain because, you know, Gabe didn't know. And then Robbie, this episode, you know, it was revealed to Gabe that Robbie is the Ghost Rider. Mm -hmm. Robbie tried to explain, it's not me who's doing all the killings. Well, it kind of is, but, you know, it, there's, there's this thing. It's in it's in my head. That, and, and it takes over my head, literally. And it's the one doing the killing, but it's my body. So, like, uh, it's kind of... I understand where Gabe is coming from. Like, you, you Robbie, your person is doing the killing, but I, it's not... It's not him mentally. Yeah. And I think that's also another thing, because not many right now are believing him that he made a deal with the devil. So <laughs> no one's really acknowledging this as, um, like, mystical or magical power. They're just sort of like, he, he can do this stuff. We, can't, we don't know why he's not inhuman, but there's, I think, a disconnect there, too, where they're, they're not ready to say it's magic. Yeah, I mean, there is other explanations 
in this universe. I'm like, if you're not inhuman, then like, oh, you're enhanced. And if you're not enhanced, oh, then you're an alien. Yeah. Yeah, and 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 I think that the the the, the things that fall under the enhanced umbrella is just going to keep growing. There's that can mean a bunch of different things. Yeah. Like so, Captain America is enhanced, mm-hmm. in, but Inhumans are not. Like they're born with their powers. But I mean, I guess is Iron Man technically enhanced? I mean, he's not no. like doing anything. Well, I mean, because like he has the arc reactor in his chest, but then he took it out. So yeah, like, but he still has the suit. So I don't really know what he qualifies as. Even when he had the arc reactor in his chest, the arc reactor didn't make him super. He, he still had I mean, to put on the suit. It kept him alive. Exactly. Yeah. He still had to put on the suit, so he wasn't enhanced. But honestly, and, and and maybe I'm wrong, but the way I viewed the term enhanced is enhanced is anyone with powers. You know, in humans. You know, whatever Wanda is, super soldiers, they're all enhanced, but they, they're subsections of enhanced. That's just yeah. how I have thought of it. Well, I've kind of made my own categories for this. So there's gifted, and gifted is you're born with your powers. So that could be yes. mutants and humans, things like that. Enhanced is someone outside forces gave you your powers. Mm-hmm. And then okay. there's just aliens. Aliens, <laughs> that's, your, that's your biology. That's exactly. how you are. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I I can jam with that. I like that. Um, I absolutely loved, and this was such a small thing in the episode, but Mac grabs Gabe's wheelchair and calls him calls him Ironsides, and <laughs> l- so quick back, uh, Gabe calls Mac Black Kojak, and I actually I. I, I recognize the name Kojak. Like that was a, a TV show, a, a, a crime drama. Is it in the seventies? Well, there was. Oh, it looks like there was a remake. Um, but I think it was old from the seventies. But then I looked up Ironsides, which was actually also a TV crime drama. And like it, the joke came together, and it was. It's even more funny. <laughs> I because I had to back it up because like I heard it but then I had to watch it again because it's just so funny. I I like how them two like okay so like Mac made the joke yeah and then Gabe played off of it because I and I like that and um, those two I mean I I like Mac with anybody I mean anyone who's like on screen with Mac Mac they play off each other very well but I like how Gabe was able to play off Mac's you know Mac being Mac. Mm-hmm. And Mac was just like, I like that kid. <laughs> Before he, like, walks away. It's like, I like him. <laughs> so funny. Uh, so we get the the director who's telling Simmons she's got to go on this whatever secret whatever mission with somewhere secret. And then he makes her put a freaking hood on. And he's like, a team that trusts. And she's like, just, just don't. <laughs> and she's so sick of his bullshit I mean she's been sick of it like since the beginning yeah but now she's like telling him she's sick of it well yeah well before she couldn't yeah but like she's always hated the way he's done things mm-hmm. or like she had to keep her mouth shut because you know she's the but she she's the sadist she has to like you know keep up appearances and whatever else but like now she's like no like fuck you exactly yeah and I I, th- we got just such a little bit of Simmons this episode that I'm nervous. Like for, I think her mission's gonna be something very involved, and I'm. I don't know what it could be, cause like this whole episode, Fitz is just so. Like trying to get in touch with her, no one knows where she is, and like he's very frustrated this episode. Yeah, I um, I always loved. Him and Fitz and Simmons together, mm-hmm. and of course, and they're always going, you know, back and forth. It's like, okay, so like, you know, one is like in a coma, the one's on a planet, and like now they're on the same. Now they're on the same planet, and they're a couple, but they're they have a lot of problems, and it's like, okay, like we got it, but yeah, why are you doing this? I'm afraid. I mean, I think they're gonna stick together, but I'm just afraid of like the rocky path that they're going to take. Um, 
and I'm afraid that I'm still afraid that one of them is going to die. Um, yeah, we, I'm waiting for a main cast member to die this season. I know. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I, I, I like can't imagine who it could be, and I don't want to think about it. Because I don't think it's going to be Daisy. No. And I don't think it's going to be Coulson. I mean, he, no. death doesn't really affect him anymore. And I don't think it's going to be May. I honestly think I think it's going to be either Mac, Fitz, or Simmons. That saddens me. I don't want to think about it. And I think if and out of those three, I think it's going to be Simmons, most likely. But Simmons, like, I feel like not that she just stepped up, but like she's reached yeah. a new level of badassness. I I can't. I'll be very disappointed if we lose her at this stage. I I will be too. But honestly, I think, and I don't I don't want it to happen. I feel like she's going like the. Jean Grey route. I mean, Simmons reminds me of Jean Grey a lot. Mm -hmm. Where she started out like kind of like she has skills, but like she's like the weakest on the team. And now she's coming into her own. And then she's gonna like, and now she's like very, because Simmons has grown a lot. And Mm -hmm. she really has, and she has this new authority and she's really, you know, becoming stronger. And I think they're going to round out her story really nicely and then you're dead. Maybe she'll come back possessed by a cosmic being. <laughs> She's going to be the new ghost rider or maybe oh, like no. the new ghost rider and like she'll be all fiery but like but it'll be her whole body not just her skull and like this will be their way to like okay we're sidestepping copyright just a little bit. A little bit. Uh yeah. I don't know. I I don't want to think about that. I don't want to think about no. anybody dying. Uh but the director gets on Coulson's jet and they're searching the whole, you know, the whole bus and Coulson talking to the director and the director's just on his high horse, just like, they're criminals, blah, blah, blah. It's like, come on, dude. He's, I, mm, there's, there's a secret he's got and we don't, we don't, quite yeah. really know what it is yet and it's well he's had secrets before and he's revealed some of them yeah but there is a whole lot more yeah and we know um because uh, like this is a named comic character yeah. you know from the comics there's some and i feel like they're going to do something with his comic origins that they're going to incorporate somehow into the show um because like well, in the context of this show, he's like a like a war veteran, mm-hmm. and like he's very shady. I wouldn't like without a doubt. I wouldn't you know give a second thought if like some of those stories about him weren't true. Yeah, I mean, we already know that him shielding the woman in Vienna wasn't true. Yeah. Uh, and it could be, um, and it could be like he himself didn't even do those things. Yeah, it could, it could be, be a someone else did those situation. things. Yeah. Yeah. Like someone else, like he like took someone else's name or like, or the things that someone else did, and you know, maybe that previous person died and they needed you know someone to be the face of that, similar to his comic origins where he took over the Captain America mantle when he you know wasn't the actual Captain America. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I'm waiting for the the reveal of that um, hopefully it happens sooner and rather I'm hoping than later to get, we get Captain America on the show which is probably not going to happen but. Chris Evans, buddy, come on They there are rumors of him extending his contract so yeah, maybe that uh, which, I, I, which I'm all for yeah. and um, I mean he is going to be in um, the third Avengers movie mm-hmm. not so sure about the fourth one yeah, part, part but or whatever it's called. If if he does die, I have a I have a mental image in my mind about how I want this to go down. <laughs> I don't want him to be Captain America. I want Steve Rogers being Steve Rogers in a nice leather jacket, face to face with Thanos, you can like bring it and then Thanos kills him, but Steve Rogers was still strong. Yeah. P- planting yourself like a tree. And say no. Go, no. You move. You move. 
Yeah, I don't. I also, that's another thing I don't want to think about is Steve Rogers versus Thanos. Uh, something well, I didn't want. I didn't want to think about things <laughs> happening to Peggy, but they did. I know. I know. Let's and get on this Peggy Carter movie. Yes, make it happen. Because there is, there's, and I know I, I'm not sure if I've said it on a podcast before, but there's, there's a a perfect gap of time that we need to cover with Peggy, and that's the creation of Shield. It's yeah, just a, it's a nice bit of bit of time that has to be covered. And we need to know because, like, we're not getting a season three of Agent Carter. You happening. know, we did the we did the Netflix petition that didn't work. Get her, get her a movie, make it awesome, mm-hmm. and then. If yeah, and when that movie's over, and I'm still not satisfied, do a spinoff series of her, Hank Pym, and Howard Stark in the Golden Age of Shield. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm into that. Uh, speaking of Peggy, we get uh, a mention of Isodyne Industries or Isodyne yeah. Technologies or whatever it's actually called, um, yeah. but they were the they were the company who uh, was experimenting with zero matter, uh, taken no. over by Roxon Corporation. Uh, is Roxon still a thing? No, right? It, no, I think it is. It is okay. I think it is because I think we had it last season. Okay. Yes. Yeah, and um, so it, one of their power plants is where uh, uh, Eli and ghosty lady we're going to try to recreate this experiment um and it got me thinking because the, whatever the dark hold is is showing them you know the, the ability to create matter out of nothing feels a little bit like the m- magical version of zero matter a little bit yeah zero matter is definitely well they don't exactly know what zero matter is they don't understand it completely I mean, I'm guessing, like, I guess their theory was, oh, zero matter is, like, the residue from, like, portals. Yeah. Um, but we don't even know where that portal went to. Or where all that stuff was going with the zero matter. That's true. We never got that. Could it, like, could it be, like, wherever the dark hold came from is, like, where this dimension is that the zero matter oozes out from? I would actually love if there was a really strong tie between zero matter and the dark hold. Yeah, because, like, we, like, we explored Zero Matter in, in Agent Carter, but, like, we don't have, like, definitive answers. I mean, it's Marvel. We're never going to get them right away. But like, we don't really know, because um, we know, like, oh, Zero Matter is the stuff that comes out of the portal. But, like, what's on the other side of that portal? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Because I, I just thought, oh, this is kind of, like, just a mirror of, of Zero Matter. But it could actually be really connected to the Dark Hold. Because we know absolutely nothing about the Dark Hold. <laughs> it's Asgardian. It's always Asgardian. Yeah. Uh, Which we haven't gotten a lot of, actually. I'm surprised. Um, it was very strong in season one and like a little bit in season two. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff uh, this show hasn't come back around to. That uh, bring Lady Sif back. I love, I love when Lady Sif comes on this show. Always. I want her to have, like, yeah. a every season have at least one cameo. Yeah, that'd be nice. She's fantastic. Before I get too far away from it, I did want to say that I loved uh, Coulson's Admiral Akbar uh, mention. He's like, yeah. now, Admiral Akbar, that's a real hero. And I'm like, yay! Yeah. Yeah, fish head, you know saying that line that I won't say on the show. It's a trap. You, you know, you know, you know the line. Of course. You know. And and but I I love it cuz you know the director mentioned Han Solo and there you know that's such a everyone knows Han Solo. That's such a a a general thing to mention in Star Wars and it's just like Yeah. And then he says Admiral Ackbar and I'm like, yeah. I mean like I mean like there are people who haven't seen Star Wars, who know about Star Wars things. Yeah. Like, people who haven't seen Star Wars know, they know about Yoda and, like, Darth Vader and all that exactly. stuff. You know, but, like, p- the casual person who has never seen Star Wars does not know who Admiral Ackbar is. This is true. They know, they probably know the line, but they don't know the character's name. Mm-hmm. And they and, like, definitely don't know how truly badass he is. No. But, like, I just love, I just love that Coulson would be the one to bring that up. Oh, yes. Like, no, I, I doubt anyone else on the team has even seen Star Wars. 
Fitz maybe. Yeah. Maybe Fitz. Fitz. Uh, but... Fitz makes those kinds of references too, so probably yeah. Fitz. But like he, but like Colson is, um, so like what millennials are right now, that's what Colson is. And he was a millennial back in the day. And like no one, and then no one understood him. And like now he can make all these references and people are actually going to get it in, in this time. He like loves the kids of today. Yeah. Oh my God. That's actually so funny. Cause there was a, a post on like, I don't know, Pinterest or Tumblr or something. And it was Clark Gregg in a hoodie on a skateboard and the caption was I'm not like other teenagers I'm 53 <laughs> I love Clark but I love Clark Gregg because oh, he is um he is just I don't know he's something else and he's just he he is Phil Coulson yeah and and Phil Coulson is him and um I love how um and he just just you put him in a situation and he will jump right into it, not knowing what the fuck he's doing, but he will do it. Oh, yeah. And I loved him on a lip sync battle with uh, Haley Atwell. Oh, my God. The Yes, those things were amazing. And I'm just thinking to myself, when those, when those two were doing their um, acts, I'm just thinking, like, Nick Fury is, like, watching the TV right now. It's like, what the well, Cap, Pe- first of all, Peggy, you really, you know, you went off the deep end after Cap died, and Coulson just, yeah, maybe we should have left you dead. <laughs> it's like, Col- Phil, I did not bring you back from the dead, so you can have a limp- lip sync battle. In a Britney Spears <laughs> costume. Oh my god, I loved the Wrecking Ball one. I think that one was my favorite. Ah. <laughs> uh. Too much time on their hands. Uh, anyway, I I like when when they're Mackin and and Fitz were trying to figure out the console and they're like, we know this stuff. It's not like we're stupid. This is our our jam. Like, we just can't figure it out. Did did it's Mac like, use the word magic? Um, he might have. He might have. Uh, and then and and then Fitz is like, no, it's just it, they figured out a different way to do it. I'm like, what if it is? It's magic. Yeah, it's um. I mean, it's definitely because like they're um like the techie people on the team. Mm-hmm. You can't expect them, you can't expect them to know everything. Smart people can be stupid in some situations, and like ma- if magic isn't your forte, and it's like nobody's forte on this show. Yeah. Like when it comes to, they're gonna encounter like actual like actual like not not technology like an actual magical relic that other than the dark hold something that you need magic to work and they will have no idea what the fuck they're doing they'll probably blow it up and it still will still <laughs> work. yeah yeah and, and they're uh, gonna they're just gonna go insane it's like i don't know what to do yeah and with the console it's like th- this is clearly a technological console that's laid out in a way that these two you know engineers no, but it doesn't work the way it should. But, you know, Eli read, he was, just, he read the Darkhold. He followed its instructions and he got it to, to do its thing. Um, and in some weird twist, he was actually the one that did the experiment in the first place. He made the, the ghosty people um, in an attempt to give himself the power of creating matter. Yeah. Um, he was dabbling in things he did not understand. And, I mean, you know, karma. Uh, yeah. And, you know, you, well, you got what you wanted. You created matter out of nothing. Yeah, who knows what he's going to do with that power now. He's... I'm still waiting for this Doctor Strange in. Um, um, we have a hiatus now. Yeah. Till the 29th of November. Because I was thinking maybe... Because I want to know... Because I was always thinking, you know, th- this season, when the season started, I'm like, okay, who's our villain? Um, it's not Robbie. He's more like a third entity that's kind of like... He's not evil, but doing bad things. He's like anti-hero. Mm-hmm. So, so I'm thinking Eli. What does Eli want? And how is he connected to all of this? 
Yeah. And I'm thinking, and I'm thinking, you know, okay, we got, we're introducing magic into the show. So I'm like, okay, so is it a Doctor Strange thing? Are we going to have ties to that? Is he like a character from Doctor Strange? I don't think he is. Hmm. So I'm just trying to figure out what does he want and why is it significant? Yeah. Because in the... We might not know everything about Eli, too. There could be something he wants vengeance on. And my dad just reread the comics with, with Robbie's um, Ghost Rider. And it w- actually wasn't the spirit of vengeance. It was his uncle Eli's spirit that possessed him and caused him to take vengeance. Um, hmm. So it was a little different version of Ghost Rider. So I don't know. I, I think Eli's got some vendetta with somebody out there somewhere. Yeah. For some reason. And that's what he's going to use his powers for. Maybe. So maybe he wants to, maybe he just knows about magic. And maybe this spirit of vengeance in this show did something to, I don't know, his family or whatever. You know, the spirit of vengeance did something. Eli was pissed off at it. And so he's trying to like use magic and technology because he doesn't know how to like defeat a magical thing so he's trying to use magic and technology together to defeat whatever evil magical entity he wants to uh get rid of hmm yeah maybe because we we don't know what happened to robbie and gabe's parents do we no um i mean i'm, I'm just assuming they're dead yeah me too. we don't know what happened yeah, so maybe it has something to do with that. Maybe we'll get more of that backstory. I don't know. I'm just going to have to wait and see. But uh, there was the big energy burst and Paulson and Fitz and even Robbie have disappeared. They are no longer where they were when the explosion happened. So They're not dead. They're not dead. No, I think they're in some weird like ghost plane of existence probably where it's oozing with dark matter in there probably (laughs) yeah we don't don't, don't know where they went but i want to see where they went yes Um, no doubt uh robbie's ghosty powers is gonna help them get out yeah he probably robbie has probably seen this place before wherever it is they are he's like oh yeah i know this place or at least maybe the spirit has yeah uh, we have, there's no synopsis. There's no nothing. Um, even the promo for next episode is just like old clips. Like none of it is new footage. So, uh, I have It's nothing. a clip show. It's a clip show. I have nothing. You never had a clip show. Yeah. Uh, so Jacob, where can the people find you? You can find me here on YouTube at Jacob Salazar, or you can find me on Twitter. Tweet at me throughout the week, throughout the life at to nowhere land. That is T O N O W H E R E L E N D. Join the Nowhere Land Society. And you can find me at Cleomoto on Twitter, Twitch, and Pinterest. And you can find all of us at ASOTV Podcast on Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, Google Plus, and right here on YouTube. Follow us for some more podcasts from some of your favorite TV shows, video games, and movies. Until next time, bye guys. Bye. I still haven't seen Doctor Strange and I'm very upset. I haven't seen it either. And it's supposed to be like really, really good because like I haven't heard like one bad thing about it. So. Yeah, stupid appendix.